Today is your Park City Mountain update. It is Tuesday, December 19th. This is the week that we were supposed to get a big storm and what's happening? It's raining. But they have been able to open up more terrain. So we've got, I'm on the Sun Peak chair right now. Sun Lodge is open for business. They have the Orange Bubble open. Tombstone is open. Saddleback is open. High Meadows open. Over and Out is open. They opened up 9990 as well. On the Park City side, they opened up Crescent, Three Kings, First Time, Payday, Silver Load, McConkies, and Thanes. So there's definitely a lot more chairs opening. However, we need a miracle from <laughs> Mother Nature. We don't need rain, we need snow because a lot of there's not they're not able to groom a lot of the runs. So everything off Silver Load is left very natural. And the only things that are groomed are basically like claim jumper, all the green runs, chicane, everything that would be like a high traffic area that's going to be the easy runs that are gonna that a lot of people go on. But normal runs they usually groom off silver load are not groomed right now because we need a little bit of help from Mother Nature. I bet you anything it's snowing at the top of 9990. However, we need a lot more snow up there because there are a lot of rocks. So if you are coming into town this week, just be prepared. We have had a very dry and warm December and we haven't had a storm since the last video that I shot maybe three weeks ago, kind of on the update of, of the opening of Park City. So now we're on, we're getting ready for the week of December 20th, all the holiday crowds are here. It's getting really, really busy. So just be careful out there because there are a lot of people who should probably be taking lessons that are not in lessons or a lot of crowds. One thing that I do want to say is that if you are coming here on a trip and you're looking, I know that when I was walking through the Park City Mountain Village, there was this, this cute lady and her husband and they were totally pissed that they had to schlep their skis from the parking lot and they couldn't find the ticket office. So this is a pro tip. You go to Ski Butlers and you have your stuff delivered to you. Or if you have your own gear, you use shipskis.com to ship it to the hotel or the condo that you're staying at. I know if you're staying at Deer Valley, Deer Valley Lodging has a partnership with shipskis.com and they always tell people, if you wanna avoid the rental lines, then make sure you use Ski Butlers or a service that actually comes to you to fit your boots, to give you your skis, to do your snowboards, whatever it is. It's so much easier than having to schlep your skis around all over the ski area and find ski storage. All right, so Peak 5 Chair is open. I'm heading to the top of it. I'm gonna see if Harmony is open because if Harmony is open, we are going to actually go ride to the house that I saw um, about three days ago that was a $25 million listing in the colony. I made a couple shorts about it. So you wanna go check out those videos, you should but we're gonna go see if we can ski to that house. All right, so Harmony is closed, so we can't get to it. But if you can see it right there, that is the $25 million ski and ski out home that I saw a couple days ago at the colony. It's starting to dump now. We're above the rain, rain level. I'm gonna cruise down this run. All right, so I just went up and did my little, my little runs for the day. I am absolutely, soaked like I mean soaked soaking wet my hair everything like it's it's really wet snow it's actually not too bad over on peak five um it's pretty fun it's a little slushy it's warm just keep praying for snow because we need a better snowstorm than this we need a lot of snow we need a lot of snow guys it's all about perspective as well if you're coming here and you're somebody that lives in like Kentucky or Virginia or on the East Coast or Alabama or somewhere, you're gonna have the time of your life because I've ridden up with people who are like, this is amazing, this is so great. And I'm like, are you joking me? I've lived here for 37 years, this sucks. And they're like, we're from Virginia, this is awesome. What are you talking about? So it's all about perspective, right? People that don't live here, that have never experienced snow before, that don't know what a good season is, woo! you are missing out because if you think this is fun, just wait till Utah actually gets some good snow.